What's up guys, it's Zed and welcome to the season finale of my Real Madrid career mode. We're currently in April and we have the quarterfinals of the Champions League coming up after this match against Mallorca. And then if we win the semi-finals, we're probably going to have the Champions League final. We have a lot to do this episode. Let's get into it. First off, we have the away match against Mallorca and I'm going to be simulating it. This is the team that we're going with. It's kind of like a rotated squad-ish. And then let's see if we can get the win. Yes, we do. Garcia and Rodrigo get the goals for the team. Next up, we're traveling to Italy to face Inter Milan for the second leg of the Champions League. They are a standard as usual. It's been long I've done a training drill, so I'm really going to do my go-to training drill right now, and I'll be back once I'm done with that. I actually don't know why I have to use my keyboard for this shit, but we are actually doing really well. We already have an A, and we have like two more chances, one more after this one. Let's see if we can get this all the way to Bellingham. We do, and that is a really good finish from him though. Maybe, can we get it? Yeah, we, we did, but like it was kind of a tame effort. But that is the end of the training drill. We actually did really well there. So we're going into the match with our main starting 11. Is the highlights we're playing though. So let's see what we can do in this match. Starting with a corner. So let's just whip this in to Vlahovic. And oh my god, the, the guy really saved it really well there. So we have a, a penalty now for Vlahovic again. And we're looking... I mean, he scored the last one. So let's just do it the exact same thing. It's not really as powerful as I would as I would want, but he does get the goal though. And that is the first goal of the match. We are 2-0 up on aggregate. And well, let's see if we can actually capitalize on this. They have a free kick chance here. So this might I mean if we defend this well. Oh, they go short though. Likes to run with the ball with his feet. Let's try and stop this as best as we possibly can oh my god all right so that was really easy for them and that's not that's not very good though so i mean if they score again we're going to be drawn on aggregate so we cannot have that we absolutely have to defend way better than the shit we did in the last in the last highlights i just hope that we can do it though and so well, he just got the better of us there where where is my defense what the hell? Oh my god, really? These guys have to be these guys have to be shitting me. What the hell? Real Madrid solo run and it's not even a solo run. I have no idea what this is. But we should probably get it to Vinicius, maybe. And he can probably do something here. Or not. I mean he still has a chance and please. Oh my god, how do you miss that? How do you miss that below god? Alright, so I don't understand how we, we won this just now. I saw I saw 3 2 on Argument and I only scored one goal. So it's kind of weird how we did win it, but I'm going to take it though because I mean why not? That was just really lucky. Now we have the match against Barcelona. It's first versus second, and this is going to be one hell of a match. It's a must win because we are like nine points ahead of them and we want to increase that to 12 points. And this is one debut that I should not miss. We're playing the highlights of this though. And well, let's hope that we get the, the better of the attacks and we actually capitalize on all of the chances that we're giving. So we have a crossing opportunity first, and we have Indy on the ball. I'm going to shoot to Alexander Arnold because I have, I have something. Because I want it to be, I want this course to be as good as possible. So I'm going to take it far like this. And let's see how this is. It's like to Rudiger, and, and he doesn't actually get a, a header on it. Now we have an attack in the 16th minute. And let's see what we can do here. I see Vinicius on the... All right, so Lahovic make the run. Can we? Oh, that's the well, stupid ass pass, to be honest. Well, then Barcelona have a free kick. To be honest, if I draw this match, I really wouldn't mind as far as I don't lose it. So they have a free kick, so AKA a chance for a counter attack. If we actually do well, which we don't. I mean, we do, but like they didn't like give us the chance for the counter attack so they have their own counter attack here and rafinha is looking really really dangerous so hopefully he doesn't spot him he did not i mean he will stop the run to like kind of fuck it up for them oh my god let's defend as best as we can come on give us a freaking counter attack for the love of god all right so we have a free kick here blahovic is on it but i'm not going to use him i'm going to give it to um, Alexander Arnold. His power is actually kind of okay, but it's, it's too far to be honest. It's really, really far. 
So I'm going to. Yeah, I'll, I'll just try and catch Vlahovic on this. And that's just too far. That's just too much power. I, I need to work out how to do that really well. So we have a good chance here for Rodrigo in particular. So let's hope he does He's in here. score. Yes, he does. And that is the goal for Real Madrid. Good goal for everybody, to be honest. And now we have... They have a long cross. And I think our defender is behind whoever is going to be receiving this Rudiger so let's oh my god how do you screw that up how do you screw that up let's defend with our lives here come on guys you got this you got this Vinicius that is brilliant come on give me a freaking counter attack but anyway we do win the match the 1-0 win a win is a win, is a win and I'm really really happy with that we have taken ourselves 12 points clear from Barcelona. Now, if Sevilla win their match, they're going to be on 68 points, which means we'll be 10 points behind them. And, I mean, we still haven't gotten ourselves clear to win the league. So, we have, like, a couple more, more matches. If we, can, if we can get the win in these coming matches, then we possibly will be able to lift the trophy pretty soon. Next up, we have Real Society. I'm going to be simulating the match, even though it's going to be a tough one. Where I can't really play my best team for this match just, just because. Um... I'm going to bring in Kamavinga for Chouameni, then bring in Modric. Wait, what the hell did I just do? Alright, Kamavinga for Chouameni, Modric for Florian Vert. I think Ceballos is still in this team. Yeah, he is. So let's 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 have him play the match. And then I'm going to start Garcia and then Alaba for Militao. I think I am good with this. I should have played Carvajal, but I really don't feel like. So let's hope we do get the win. We do. It's a really big win. Vinicius gets a brace. Blahovic gets a goal. And Rodrigo as well. Now we have the semi-final first leg against PSG. This is going to be one hell of a match. They have Lee Kangin, Kolumwani, Mbappe, Dembele. It's actually really weird for me. I didn't really think I was ever going to see this. A 4-2-4. Yeah, I never really thought I was going to see this. They play standard. So, I mean, they're pretty balanced everywhere. So that is really dangerous. So let's look at the team we want to go for this. I think I'm going to go all out. To be honest yeah that's what i'm going to do i'm not going to play the full match because the first leg i'm going to play the full match with the second leg so let's go into the match and let's hope we can come out with a win the plus side is we are starting in their own stadium so we're going to have the home advantage in the second leg so what we have to do right now is just make sure that we we defend as best as possible and we take our chances pretty well because because they have a really good chance here and we can't have the worst happening right now Right, good for Mendy, and of course, that's a really good block. Counter attack, maybe. Yes. Thank you, Florian Ritz. Good one. Can we get this to Vlahovic? Yes. Maybe. Ah, oh, God. No, we're able to do very well there. But now we have a, a long cross to Vinicius, and we can probably get this to the right people. All right, we still have the ball. Florian Verts. Let's take this back out to Valverde, who should be able to do something. With, really? Okay, so we have a really good chance here. We're in the second half. It's a solo run. Valverde, you should you should be able to do something here. Really? Oh my god, that did not just happen. That did not just happen, to be honest. <laughs> oh my god. Alright, so we better score this. Rodrigo had better score this, to be honest. Vinicius, you're the savior. You are my freaking savior right now. Oh my god. It's a good goal. I can't believe it. I can't believe Rodrigo actually did not score that. I mean, I, I panicked, yes. And I took an extra touch when I shouldn't have. But I mean we still we still end up with a with a goal. And now we have to to defend as best as possible so that we can go into the next match with with at least some sort of of lead all right so we do get the match get the win rather and we are going to the semi-finals second leg with a lead so Vinicius did really well to get the win in that match for us and player of the month list for april we have Vinicius and rodrigo on that i'm pretty sure Vinicius is probably going to take it or Lewandowski one of those two Vinicius is actually leading the league with goals 25 goals in 33 matches Ferran Torres is currently right behind him with 23 goals in 33 matches next up we have the match against Cadiz and to be honest i'm not even sure if that is Cadiz or not i have no idea what that logo is and i completely forgot what the 
the team name was but i think that should be caddies but anyways we're going with this team it's not it's like a second team complete second team to be honest with the exception of chuameni and courtois so let's see if we can get the win here we're going to be simulating it and we do rodrigo lucas vasquez and modric get the goals for the team all right so it says real madrid double up which means we lifted the trophy in that match which is sad because i really wanted to watch us lift a trophy in this game not to worry though i'll probably play this final match against real betis before i play the final of the uefa champions league but before we go into any of those we have the semi-final match against psg we are currently on goal ahead so we need to capitalize on that make sure that we get goals and try and limit the amount of goals they score in the match all right we're going all out in this match with the exception of rudiger because it's actually very very low on energy so like i said before we have believed in this match already so let's just hope that we can make the best of it and get a win in this match so i'll see you guys after the match don't forget to hit the like button subscribe to the channel and also drop comments on what you think about the video hello from one of the great venues in world football the estadio santiago bernabeu in madrid i'm derek ray ready here on the commentary position and alongside me is the former arsenal west ham and commentary midfielder stuart robson and what we have to look forward to is the second leg of this Champions League semi-final. It's Real Madrid against Paris Saint-Germain. Don't let their best to date. They could come unstuck. Kangin Lee. And now Lamar. Keeper getting the touch. Well, what a stop it was. Lamar. He cuts it back. Really good diving stop to make sure the threat came to nothing. Took a really smart piece of defending to stop them. Florian Diaz. Space for Real out wide. Delivered into the box. Looked to me like a good cross. But... And he could really get at the opposition. in the direction of the back post. Superb stop. And the first half is in the history books here at the Bernabeu. So back underway and an intriguing second half in prospect. Mbappe. Opportunity to level it. And a goal it is. Because Mbappe shows such skill to go beyond the defender and his movement's so clever. Once he gets onto it, there's only one thought in his head. Smash it as hard as possible. What a good goal. Well, back underway and 1-0 it is. Let's see what happens next. Might work out. Here's the goal again, and what a wonderfully weighted pass this is. While the movement in the box is equal to it, it's such good timing. What a goal. Eduardo Camavinga. Florian Wirtz. Chouameni. There's the chip, and it's in, as they tighten their grip on the tie. This is a very good finish. He just does enough to get it over the keeper. He'll certainly be pleased with that. Attacking possibilities for PSG. Chance here. And both hands on it. Good goalkeeping. Crossing possibilities. Oh, great header. Smart stop, though. Well, the fans want to see a short. A goal! That's two for him today! They simply can't stop him! No wonder he's celebrating!
Valverde. And Bellingham. Vlahovic. And that's it. Official now. Real Madrid have made it to the final. Really got injured in that match, but it's just a five-day injury, so he's going to be back for the Champions League finals because we, in fact, need him. Next up, we have the match against Granada, and I'm going to be simulating the match. We do win it 2-1. Vlahovic and Vinicius get the goals for the team. Next up, we are home against Alaves. Let's see what we can do here. It's a 4-2 win, so we actually have a win streak going on. Rodrigo gets a brace in the second half and Vinicius gets a brace in the first half. Laurel is the next match we have to worry about and we're going to be going all out with this match. We're away from home and even though we've already won the league, I just want to make sure that we can actually go out with a good run. And yes, we do. 4-0. Bellingham, Vlahovic, Vlahovic gets a brace and Fernandi get the goals for the team. Finally, we have the final match in the La Liga up against Real Betis. And after this match, we have the Champions League final on the 1st of June, like I predicted earlier. And it's against Borussia Dortmund. Now, I don't know if their team is good enough to like put up a fight with us, with the current Real Madrid team we have right now. But that just gives me a little bit of a relief that it's not a team like Bayern or PSG or Manchester City or something like that. So, I mean, if we just focus and do our best, we might probably be able to win that match. So, I'm not going to be putting my best team out for this one just in case anything decides to go wrong. We're playing the highlights though, and I hope that after this match, we do get to see the team lift the trophy. That's the only reason I'm even playing this match because we already won it. So, I just have like tiny hopes that we might actually be able to lift it in the final match because we didn't see ourselves lift it in the match against that team that we played where we won it. But yeah, I'm babbling already, but let's hope that we can get the win here. All right, we have an attack. The last time that we played Real Betis, yeah, we beat them. But then the last time we played them in the league, they absolutely got the better of us. Now let's see what Bellingham can do here. And that is saved very well by the keeper. It was a good shot though. And now we have a counter attack that, what the hell was that? What the hell was that somebody? You guys have got to be kidding me, really. We had a really good counter attack and the game just made us not do anything there. But anyway, we have something good here. And I pretty much lost what I was trying to do. Now we have a cross opportunity though. Um, Rodrigo looks like the best option. So I'm going to pass it back to him and try and see if I can get something on here. No, I don't. And it's a solo run for Arda Gula. So this has to be a goal. But um, Vasquez is on the on the right, so this might actually be a chance for his first goal. But I want Arda Gula to actually score this, and he's going to score it, and that's the first goal of the match. It's a really good goal. I wanted to sweat it to Vasquez, but I mean, there just wasn't any point. I wanted Arda Gula to score because he's actually done really well this season for a player of his caliber. But now they have a solo run that they could use to equalize, but I doubt they would because I mean we have Mendy behind the ball, so they are really not going to get past him. If I am not wrong yeah they're not they are not we have a counter attack which i am um, it's probably not going to work let's give this to carvajal lucas vasquez i have no idea why he didn't make the run and yeah we have lost but that was not even a really good pass but we do win the match so the commentator just said that as we as a party so i'm pretty sure that we're going to be lifting it so let me just wait i'm going to press anything i'm just going to wait and hopefully hopefully we get to see if he lift the trophy Well, this is what they were dreaming of before the game. They come and pick this trophy up. What a performance from them. Yes, a performance that has impressed absolutely everyone. And now it comes down to holding that piece of silverware aloft. The sweet taste of success. It has been quite the journey. And it comes to an end in style. And now the celebrations can begin, not just the players, but also the fans.
right, so I don't actually understand why the hell there is no um, background sound from the fans that are cheering for them or anything like that. All right, so that's the trophy lift, and well, it was pretty good, I guess. It's really good that we actually got to see. So I mean, we get to see two out of the three trophies that we that we have won. And up next, we have the Champions League, which is going to be an even tougher match than this one. We end the league with a crazy 96 points. That is 15 points ahead of Barcelona. That is a really good job we did there. At the end, we just kept on winning back to back to back. Even the matches I didn't expect us to win, we won by really large margins, and that was good. And now we have the most important match in European football history. We have Borussia Dortmund, who play with a counter attack. So that is dangerous for our high line, but I'm not really bothered. No press conference, no training. I want to go all out in this. But Rodrigo is going to come in later in the match, too, maybe for Vlahovic or for Valverde, depending on how I feel. So this is the team that we're going to be going with. And so it's a really good, solid team here that we've made in the at the end of the first season. And I have a feeling that we should be able to get the win against Dortmund in this match. So let's go into it. Make sure to hit the like button, subscribe, and comment on what you guys think about the video. Here because it is a huge occasion. The Champions League final. Who's going to be crowned club kings of Europe? It's Borussia Dortmund. They take on Real Madrid, and it's coming up next on EA TV. All right, so Dortmund kick off here, and well, we have one hell of a match on our hands. And well, we already have the... Let's see what we can do here. Blahovic. Yeah, that's too far. But we still have a chance here. Let's give it to Valverde. And let's see if we can do something crazy here. And well, it, we tried. We tried to do it, but Bellingham just absolutely failed that. Let's get this out to Valverde. And I think I have wasted too much time on that let's just go back that's a safer option and let's see what we can do here bellingham florian verts and oh my god that was a good chance <laughs> and i probably shouldn't have done the acrobatic thing there but i feel like it was needed all right so karimadeyemi is the main threat to be honest because well he didn't really threaten me there but yeah he's the main threat because of his speed on the ball it's absolutely crazy so they're looking dangerous here this is pretty much their first attack where they've gotten this close and i do not like it one bit good block from rudiger though let's see if we can get a counter attack started here we do not shut up against the header on it but it goes wide all right so we just <laughs> had like three mini heart attacks there to be honest how do they even do that how do they even just trickle into my defense like that i don't understand but still though we have another chance for a counter attack here and if courtois can get a hand on this he can give this to Vinicius straight and we should be able to get free Vinicius has done this many many times before and it's not i mean it's not looking like he's going to be able to do it now but he's through and he's not anymore that is but i don't know why it was kind of slow there but yeah that's what we get to Bellingham and that is a very bad unnecessary that's an unnecessarily bad pass to be honest Vinicius please make the run and yeah the referee blows the whistle we've not had a very good first half I mean the first half of the first half was really good but when it comes to the rest of the first half like after those after that first barrage of chances that we had I mean we just became absolute shit so let's hope that we can actually turn it around in the second half that's what we usually do and that's what I really need right now. Second half starts now, and I would eventually bring Rodrigo. But the thing is, I don't know who I want to bring him on for. Maybe Vlahovic, maybe um, Valverde. Well, it's most likely going to be Valverde, though, because I don't think I'm going to be needing Valverde in this match. Like, in terms of what I actually want right now. Well, Alexander-Arnold to Bellingham, please. Oh, my God. That was really close. That was really close. What a shot. And... I swear to God, if he was just a little bit um, lower, that would have been a goal. Oh my God. That is... Oh my God, what? You're about to give me... You're about to give that as a penalty. Dude, this game is on some shit. But well, we have Marlin. 
and Courtois, God bless your soul. Oh my God. We absolutely needed that. We really needed that. And well, I think, I think that's just going to like inspire the boys to something really, really crazy here. Let's hope it in fact does. Vinicius, what do you have for me? Let's do with the ball. You're not with the ball anymore. And Maybe Vinicius. No. Oh, 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 please tell me that's a goal. We absolutely need that as a goal. We do the Rashford celebration here because, I mean, why not? I, I don't even know how he scored that, but he has scored it. I am completely good with it. I mean, it was a, it was a very, very sharp pass back, and he luckily was not on offside yeah we are so close i mean we can't we can almost touch it to be honest so all we need right now is to hold this lead and make sure we can in fact capitalize on it and make sure the game doesn't cheat all right so i'm going to be bringing kamavinga on and florian Burks is going to be going off he has had a really good match relatively because i honestly have not seen him in the match just in the first half but i mean kamavinga has had an impact in the recent match that we have played so I'm expecting him to do like something here that I would actually need. Good one from Rudiger there. Good one from Militao there. Really, really good play from him. We have to, oh my God. Oh my God. That did not just happen. That did not just happen. I wouldn't even take blame for that because I'm pretty sure I made that pass perfectly. But for some reason, let's see what Vinicius can do. Not really. But Bellingham, and that goes out for a corner. It was it was a really good chance. And let's just hope that we can actually do something in this corner here. I'm going to be giving Alexander Arnold, and he's going to whip one in for Vlahovic. I mean, that's the only reason I'm able to keep Vlahovic in this match because of his his ability for in the like in the corners good good interception there but Vinicius has a chance now and um, Bellingham maybe Valverde and yeah it was not very very balanced on that I'm going to be taking Chouameni off now and Rodrigo is going to be coming on for him so we have yet another um whoops let's change this to Alexander Arnold real quick and let's see if we can why has Vlahovic left his position and that is just wild all right so it's looking really really dangerous right now oh my god and what a save what a save from courtois he deserves all the celebrations because that literally just saved our lives right there but now we have a corner which is probably the last and if we can actually get the freaking counter attack from this oh my god Valverde, come on Valverde, come on, come on, come on, come on. You can get this to Vinicius. Vinicius, can I get it back to Valverde? You can. You can. Please, please, please. Oh my God. That would have just been the perfect ending. That would have just been the perfect ending. But no, bro did not want to score that. But anyways, we have extra time up now. And this thing should better not go to penalties because I am going to absolutely freak out if it does. Because, I mean, the nerves are not helping me out right now. Let's hope our guys can actually do something. Because we actually... Oh my god. The, it just started and we have, we have gone down on this match well we have like around 30 minutes to do something here so let's just try and calm down and that is no how to freaking calm down for the love of god these guys absolutely have to be shitting me to be honest because what Blahovic, come on you got this and it doesn't even get to him all right rodrigo you are with this alexander arnold come on against Vlahovic. it doesn't get to him but rudiger come on and yeah, we don't we don't get the ball there. All right, so we have one more half to get a goal at least because that would at least take us to extra time. We cannot lose this match, guys. We cannot lose this match. All right, Alexander Arnold, you are good with this. 
Can you get this to Vlahovic maybe? And that is just too much. That is just too freaking much, guy. All right, come on, guys. Come on. Counter attack, maybe. You guys cannot be serious. You cannot get the freaking ball out. All right. Vinicius, come on, you got this. You can't definitely do this. You definitely got this, Vinicius. Come on. Thank you so much. Oh my god. Oh my god. That nearly gave me a heart attack. All right. So we can either hold the lead and get to extra time, or I get to penalties, or we can get another goal. I I, I support the notion of getting another goal because I really cannot. <laughs> I don't think I, I don't think I can. Oh. Okay. Bellingham to Vahovic. Oh my god! Oh my god, we actually got the win. We actually got the goal, rather. This has to be the best freaking final ever. Because that is that is the final. That is the final. That, oh my god, I, I'm speechless right now. I am speechless, to be honest. Alright, so we have to defend our lives. I'm putting to ultra defensive. Uh, we just have to defend everything. I really don't care if I slide right now. All right, we have the ball. We have the ball. Unless Vinicius, just be safe. Take this. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, just keep the ball. Oh my God, you cannot do... Come on, come on. All right, all right, we won it. Oh my God, oh my God. That has to be the most tensing match I have ever played in FC24. In all of EA Sports, to be honest, all the, all the, all the football games they released, that has to be the, this has to be the toughest match, the most tensing match I've ever played because I absolutely needed to win, the, to get this win because we needed the treble so bad. And what do you know, we have actually won the treble. And yeah, let's just watch them celebrate and we'll be back after the lift trophy. It's the presentation of the coveted Champions League trophy. Well, there's some tired players out there, but what you can be sure of, they'll find some energy when they get their hands on the trophy. They'll be going mad in the next few moments. The Champions League winners, Real Madrid. Well, this is what they wanted. What a moment for these players. They've worked so hard to win this trophy. They've been done it we have got the triple and man i am absolutely speechless i am still speechless i've been trying to say some shit like a while now i don't even know what to say to be honest it's been a really good match yeah we absolutely deserve that win we've worked really hard well so there you have it real madrid treble tops we have gotten the treble that is what we set out to do at the beginning of this episode and at the beginning of the season as a whole and we have gotten it fair and square the team absolutely worked hard for this one and speaking of the team let's take a look at the stats Vinicius got 44 goals and 11 assists in 57 appearances that's 55 goals and assists in 57 then Rodrigo got 23 goals and 8 assists Bellingham got 19 and 14 assists Vlahovic got he ended up being fourth like I predicted he got 14 and 3 in just 20 appearances that is actually really good he got 14 goals in 20 appearances that is actually really good to be honest then Valverde is the fifth is the fifth highest scorer with 11 goals and 10 assists that's the top five of the team and the finish is obviously taking the the player of the season trophy and here we have it the cutscene for the treble the bus parade and here we are dancing celebrating with the fans in the streets of madrid with the three trophies that we won it could have been four but i mean that's not really what we set out to do at the beginning of this of this of this series 
but yeah it's actually really good to see and well i think they're going to start dancing a bit here though yeah exactly yeah so yeah this is the end of the video this is the end of the episode this is the end of the season as a whole end of the series as well because i mean we did win the treble so if you guys have enjoyed the video make sure to hit the like button and also subscribe to the channel if you haven't already turn on post notifications so you've been notified on when i drop new videos and all that and well i'll see you guys in the next video peace